so used to playing our, our role patterns on, you know, when we're used to playing three finger banjo um, in four and, and the, these patterns are all, we've learned them from, you know, since we started, they're all based on, you know, four, four time. What kind of, what kind of issues do you have in playing role patterns over in five, four time? Um, uh, main issues are, you know, uh, trying not to repeat notes or, um, try not to get, basically try not to get your right hand tangled up mm-hmm. and whatever it is. So that's why I was like with, with that tune, the focus being on it being accessible and it's not just accessible to the listener, but you have to be able to play it. And so in that particular song, as I was kind of coming up with the 5-4, because again, I'm using Bela's Blue Bop as my, that's my 5-4 template. And for those of you uh, who aren't familiar with that tune, the rhythm part of that goes. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And so Bela had to fit the role to make, you know, to get the notes in. One, one really deceptively easy way to do it is to actually count the notes you're playing count them are, are there five are there ten because it's going to double whatever it is a lot of times with banjo rolls if you're doing a forward reverse roll there's eight notes in that that's one phrase or it can be but there's eight notes in there so like do you have ten notes in your five four phrase if so then you're good you know it's going to fit so you just have to kind of figure out what pattern works the best so for this particular song what i'm doing is so that's thumb index middle on the low strings on the D, G, and B string, and then again, so it's almost like a Shelton roll or some kind of inside roll. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. And then you. What's the second half of that roll? Sorry, I got uh, the, so, you know. That's okay. So. Yeah. So you're going fifth string. You're... Yep, so it continues on. So you're going like, in other words. And so it's, again, you reduce it down to its its constituent parts. And just make sure that it's something that you can play. You're not doubling. You're not playing two notes at the same time, or you're not using the same finger two times, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so that you don't get tangled up in what you're doing. And then you simply just try to make the the. I'm using these these stretchy versions of these chords because I wanted to be able to invert it to be able to do to have that option. It's the same chord. Well, what chord right. are you holding right there? So I'm sorry. This is a if this isn't this is worth worth going over. This is an F. It's a, if I was gonna play an F chord here, this is the classic shape for F. If I was gonna make this F a major seven, then I have to bring the pinky back one, which means I have to reconfigure my fingers to do this. So the notes in this chord are F, A, C, and E. Um, so if we take the F, keep it in the bass, here's C, E, and then A in the top, that's an F major 7, it's the same chord. And then we add the G, of course. But... And so then if you just switch that, if you switch these two around, it's still, it still can be considered an F major 7 chord, you just put the F in the high instead of in the A in the bass. It's a bit stretchy. You don't necessarily have to play that chord that way. 
Um, but I think it sounds nice with this roll. And so then when you're ready to play the A flat chord, um, same way we learned before. Sorry, I am out of tune a little bit. Um, when we played this A flat with the open G in it, you can do the same, it's the same shape, you just moved it. And so what I'm doing here is, same roll, right hand's always doing the same thing. Oops. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's what I meant to do, because this ends up being a weird, a weird thing. If, it, if I was gonna do the same, I'd have to go, which changes your shape. You have to break your shape. But if you just if you just change it a little bit to make it more comfortable, it still does the same thing. It's just a little a little different, a little bit of a different inversion. But it makes the song. It's you're able to play it. It's not gonna be a, a knuckle buster, as they say.